Hey guys, so this is for third grade and we are doing the scribble challenge at home. Um, what I want you to do, and you can get as weird as you as you want, I'm going to do just blindfolding. You could do left hand, you could have a little sibling do some marks on your paper, but first thing you need to do. So you'll need a piece of paper and something to draw with. So um, I'm going to use a black marker so you can see. Um, but the scribble contest is you are going to add scribbles to a piece of paper. And then from those scribbles, you are going to turn those scribbles into an awesome drawing. Uh, before you start turning your scribbles into an awesome drawing that I know you all can do, I would like you to take a picture of your scribbles. So then we have so what it looked like at first, and then I'm gonna have you take a picture of when you're done with your drawing, so then we can compare the two at the end. So let's get started, and hopefully I don't draw on my whiteboard. But so I have my awesome blindfold, and of course it's green for March. Let's see here. Should I even spin around? No, then I won't know where I am. Okay, let's see. Where's my paper here? Hopefully you can see. And I'm just gonna add some scribbles on there, maybe one or two or three. Let's see what I got here. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. So from here, I'm gonna take a picture, save that picture, and then I'm gonna start drawing and whatever first comes to mind, you need to turn this into a picture. So I'm gonna sit and think for a little bit and then we will continue. So give me a second. I gotta sit and think of what my imagination can come up out of those scribbles. All right, I think I got it. I think what we're gonna do is turn this weird scribble into a leaf. Anything else that you can think of? Suppose we should probably put some sky up in there or something in the background, huh? So. I think we're gonna stop there. And then um, if you have the options at home, if you have color crayons, color pencils, markers, get crazy and add some color. If you don't, see if you can add a little bit of shading with your pencil, um, just kind of how I did. So I added a little bit of shading under his belly, a little bit of shading under the leaf. Um, I could go more and add some more if I wanted to, but Really what I'm looking for is just a drawing, a nicer drawing, more detailed drawing from a couple scribbles into like a masterpiece. And look at, I already even have a frame around mine. So I'm going to keep you tuned as I color and then we'll see what it looks like in the end.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop and I'm just gonna give a little um, example of how I'm doing a little bit of this. So I'm actually just using crayons that I have here at school. And the cool part about crayons or colored pencil is that you can overlap the colors. So I, with my leaf, I started and I colored the whole leaf yellow. And then I came back with a red and just kind of did the outside of the red, outside of the leaf red, just because I wanted to give it a little tint and it's a fall picture. So I added the red around and then if you notice, it, if you add yellow and red together, what color do you make? Orange, exactly. Yeah, so you're going to get a little bit of that orange showing up. And then you can press harder and harder on the outside and then more of the red will show up. Um, same um, kind of what went over here as well is I added a little bit of brown right in the tree at first um, to give the, the leaves a little darker, duller color. And then I went back with green and then I added some colors in there. So I overlapped a bunch of different colors. Um, the other cool part about colored pencil and um, crayon is the harder you push, the darker that one crayon gets. You don't have to change colors. So that's kind of what I did here also with um, the water. So I stuck with my blue and I barely, barely pushed for the really light stuff. And then to get some shadows and some cool different um, techniques in there, I just pressed a little bit harder in areas like for my waves to make it look like waves. And I even added a little bit of water coming up onto the leaf as well. So it's splashing up onto the leaf. So then from there, I can go to adding details and colors to my butterfly now. Now the question is, what colors do we color the butterfly? All right, we're back. All right, hands up. How many people knew that the butterfly was going to be pinks and purples? All right, so let's see. There we go. Check it out. Mrs. Coleman's drawing is done. So our before and after. So I'm going to give you a little close-up view. Awesome. Masterpiece. I so can't wait to see all of your guys' masterpieces. So send pictures when you're done. Have fun.